Robbo, you said it'd be a test. So what did you learn from that? Uh, yeah, we well beaten tonight. You know, the scoreboard was... Uh, well, I like the fact that we you know, had the ability to sort of go after it at the end to, to, to hold it that close. But, uh, you know, we were well beaten in a lot of areas there. You know, field position is such a big one and possession and, you know, that was dominated by them. Um, yeah, so that was, uh, yeah, it was disappointing um, to go in and uh, we just had uh, a wide range in, in quality tonight. You know, we, we didn't collectively get to a, to a, to a team sort of uh, ability sort of attitude there where we, could, uh, where we could really do what we wanted to do and that's a credit to the opposition. Do you think they came with more physicality to start the game? Uh, I don't know about... The, I thought they tackled better. You know, I thought their, their grips and their tightness uh, was better than ours. Um, and then, you know, they obviously... Yeah, I thought that was pretty clear. Uh, and then sort of they ended up getting a few sixes again there, which sort of kept them on our try line. Um, yeah, which gave them a sort of a decent advantage there and then a couple of errors from us. And then that was a big swing, you know, in that first half. Um, so I didn't feel like, the, I didn't feel like the physicality was huge tonight from either team. I didn't think anybody ran the ball exceptionally well, or, but I thought their tackling was far better than ours. Did you think you were closer than what, when you came into this game, do you think you were playing football that was going to make, make it more of a contest from your team? Yeah, I mean, it's 22-16. Yeah. So, you know, just um, calm down a bit on, on that. But the reality was that we had to... Uh, I, I would have liked, you know, 14-6 at half time, And then we started the second half really well, had some opportunities, had errors, came back down, let some tries in on our left. Um, so that that was... You know, uh, yeah, that was really disappointing from from the way we wanted to collectively attack the game. What do you think of the bunker call in the first half? Yeah, you know, I think you know. What did everyone think? You know, he, Jared was he was a meter or two in front of the line, and then I think he had to go around the ref, which changed his angle. Which then Jazz was on the line, so he had to actually change angle, and then. You know, he runs in and it's a bit like Satili got knocked over in our one. And was he going to save the try? No, he wasn't on uh, Taruva when he scored in the corner. And I don't think he would have got there either on Joey Manu. Um, so, but anyway. Were you comfortable with the fact that they got that try then? But Satili, when they got try their try, and when, when Taruva was given his try, were you comfortable with that one? And it wasn't called back? Well, Kiri, Kiri's was the same. He got uh, outside shoulder, stopped him from making a three on three. And he said he still had, it was still a three on three, but that he still knocks him a little bit to affect him mm. on that. So it's a, if Kiri got knocked, went to the ground, it probably would have been no try. But So what was the judgment on, I guess, is what, I, what yeah. we're asking. Is it, well, was Luke or Satili going to get there or was Edwards going to get, was that the, or is it the rule on the obstruction, you know? Um, so w I feel like there was two different rulings mm. in that uh, in that case. You know, w one was given. Um, yeah, it's an obstruction, but we think it would have got one, and the other one didn't get the benefit of the doubt. So, um, you know, it was a it was a pretty big play for us there. But in the end, they're a better team by far. How worried are you, Robbo? Like we had the one last week with Jake, which the NRL explained away, but this one. Like, Dylan Edwards was pretty much in Paddington. There was no way he could get to, to stop that try. Most people, almost all people, think it was a try, but the bunker says it's not a try. How worried are you that there is such a disconnect between the people making the decision and the people watching and playing the game? Uh, I think, look, I don't want to sort of blow it out of proportion too much, but sometimes they're black and white with their decisions, and then sometimes they've got the decision-making component and it and it varies on when they apply it and that's probably what happened they made um they were sort of black and white with the obstruction because edwards changes line as well and so they made a decision call uh, sorry they, they were black and white with the obstruction call and then on the one where there was an obstruction they uh they leave it to interpretation uh, i don't think we're that 
I don't think we get it that wrong, to be honest. Um, I, I, I don't think there are highlights because we scrutinise scrutinise them well. Um, but yeah, it didn't fall in our favour tonight, and it might at some point. What did you think, Teddy, of, of that first one? Because it, it looked to the naked eye like maybe yeah. the grounding was the issue. But then yeah, I didn't even really look at that until turned like looked up and it was they gave it like they didn't look at it too many times. It didn't se- it didn't seem that way. So I was surprised that when you look up and the players getting taken out twenty metres away from the ball. Like, if I'm in that position as a fullback, that's pretty hard to get there. <laughs> and so I don't know if it would have made a difference again, but. Yeah, it would have been it would have been nice to, you know, if we had two tries in the first half and been 14-12. Teddy, what did you think? What did they do well against you guys tonight? Oh, well, I think we, we hurt ourselves in the first half. We oh, we just camped down in our own end, and when we tried a bit of, a bit of momentum, we made an error. We got a short kick off back, made an error. We just gave them too much field position, and we were kicking out of our own end a lot, and then, yeah, we are giving them six again, and just we were on the back foot that whole first half, so... You know, we, we clawed back, but again, defensively, we, we just we made too many errors as well. We got it. They just strangled with that uh, pretty simple footy. They all know their role and you know complete their sets and and put us in tough positions. But again, we we, we played some good footy at the end, but we we got to be better. Um, that first half, we can't be giving away, you know, give them an easy ball like we did it against Manly as well. We just hurt ourselves and make it tough, make it a tough game for ourselves. Trent, obviously, you won't blame the loss on one bloke being missing, but not having Lindsay out there, how hard does it make it when you are trying to um, get out of that suffocation that the Panthers do so well? Uh, yeah, I mean, Lindsay's a, an important player for us. You know, he's he's leading our pack now. Um, so that's an important one, but uh, we had more than enough players out there tonight to to, to do better in the ruck, um, and they did really well. Is he a chance for next week? Do you think? Yeah, yeah, he's a chance. What did you make of Angus tonight? I thought he was really strong in that second half when you were mounting that that comeback. Do you think he's definitely? Well? Yeah. yeah, he was. Uh, he he poked his nose through the line, sort of created a bit of ruck speed there for us to play off the back of. He had a good combination with Kez, um, so that that was really positive. Any injuries out of that one, Robert? Uh, I don't think so. I, no, I don't think so. Obviously. He's Known for doing very spectacular things, but he got really targeted tonight and seems to come through it pretty well in terms of catching and getting getting smacked and getting mm. catching and getting smacked again. Yeah, I thought uh, I thought he needed to, um, you know, he got a lesson in backfield carries tonight. I feel like he needed to uh, to improve that. You know, he's learning on the run. He's got such a quality about him and and such a top end quality. Um, but I think him along with a lot of our players. Uh, got a lesson in hardness in in the f- the fine details about how to win your uh, position and your role, um, and then also have the the top end stuff. You don't get many top end opportunities against these guys, and you have to work for them. And we 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 got outworked in that area, um, Dom included, uh, along with a lot of our guys. So uh, good lesson. Is that something that's going to be beneficial? Obviously, for yeah. this round four. So if you come back against them in the finals, and that's you'd rather have it now than then. Yeah, obviously, um, yeah, we're, we're pretty open that we're on a path to try and get better as a team and, and, and improve some of the areas that we weren't great at tonight. But we're also really aware of them and really clear on what to, to do. Um, it's round four, um, so we just, uh, we'll keep heading towards that. We know we've got a good team. Uh, we know which direction we're heading. we just got to perform better. We've sort of been two from four on field so far. So, um, yeah, let's, let's keep... Uh, Keep building and keep getting better as a team and let's nail it next week.